and actually probably have four reasons why money is not chasing you. And one of them can be expectation. I don't do anything just to be doing it. Okay. If I'm going to watch someone, you know, sit on Facebook and talk to a camera, as my brother always says, my brother's like, he should, I don't know how you do it. You sit there and you talk to a camera, right? So if I'm going to sit here and I'm going to listen to somebody talk on a camera, then I'm going to set an expectation um, and as to what I'm going to get from it. All right. So, and I can write, I want you to write that down. Number one, I actually probably have four reasons why money is not chasing you. And one of them can be expectation. Okay. So expectation you should. And so let me give you a, a example with get paid on purpose business incubator. I ended up um, getting, I went, I reached out to some of the tax professionals that I know. Um, one of them particularly who's been a student um, in my video marketing class and stuff like that. And I asked her, I said, hey, can you come in and do some training about, um, can you come in and do some training on home business tax deductions and things like that? Because I'm getting ready to work with some business owners. And here's the thing. I expect, I expect for you to make money. Write that down. I expect, I expect to make money. <laughs> like, like, it's like, it's not even... It's not negotiable. It's not negotiable. I expect for you to make money. And so because of my expectation, I expect you to explode a business. I, it is, what else would you do? What else would you do? I'm going to help you become the person so that that's inevitable, right? This is what we have to understand. Receiving money, right? It's inevitable when you are showing up, you're serving and you're selling. You're, you are, when you're doing the thing that you're here, you're called here to do, right? When you're being the person you're called to be, and because of that, you're doing the things that you're called to do, thereby having the things that you want to have, then money is, is no way you can't, it's, it's, it's impossible. Somebody put that in the, in the comments. It's impossible for you to not receive money when you are being the person, okay? It's just the way, it's just the way it is, okay? So we have to have an expectation that if I'm going to be a business owner, right? If I'm going to be a business owner, okay? So that's, so, you know, do you see what I'm saying? Like, let's, let's walk down this path. I, who are you being, right? Because this is the most important conversation you could ever have with yourself is who am I being right now? Okay, so let me just run this back. I'm being a business owner, a successful business owner at that, right? That's who I'm being. When I wake up in the morning, that's who I decide I am being on that on any given day. I wake up, I decide to be a committed, you know, dedicated, prosperous, you know, very wealthy business owner. Okay, awesome. So that's who you've decided that you're going to be for the day. Now, based upon what who you decided that you're going to be, what are you going to do? Y'all, catch this. You got to catch this. You got to catch this. You have to. You have to catch this. <laughs> okay, you're right. You got to catch this. Okay, you got to catch this, y'all. Okay, listen. When you decide on who you're going to be, the actions that you take in your life are a result of who you have decided to be. I'll give you another example, just in case you're not following the script here. If you wake up in the morning and you decide to be defeated, a person who is defeated, a person who hates their job, a person who is not committed to a process, a person who is um, flaky, a person who is, you know, unorganized, um, a person who, um, who complains, a person who, you know what I'm saying? So you see what I'm saying? Like, if you decide that's who you're going to be when you wake up in the morning, then based upon who you decide you're going to be, then you're going to do things that that person would do. So you're not going to, you're not going to focus on, you know, sending an email to your list. If you should have one, you're probably not going to show up and grow an audience at all. Um, you know, just, you're going to be doing things based upon who you decide that you're going to be on that particular day. Drop me a one in the comments. If you guys are getting this, <laughs> okay. Drop me a one in the comments. If you're going to, if you guys are going to get this, right. If you decide you're going to be healthy, if you decide I'm going to be a healthy person, okay, my brother just launched a movement, which I'm super excited about. We just call it move your body, right? 
you know? And so based upon his movement, I decided that I am going to be a healthy person, okay? And that, and so in my decision now, because of who I have decided I'm going to be in this earth realm, then there are, there are actions that I take this based upon who I've decided I'm going to be. You get what I'm saying? I decided to be a healthy person. Okay, so now I can ask myself, Keisha, what does a healthy person do? Oh my God. You guys, I hope y'all catching this. Okay, I'm talking about why money's not chasing you. And I, this, I'm still talking about why money's not chasing you, but why? Why am I not chasing you? You have not decided to be someone who money chases. Hello? Hello? <laughs> okay. And therefore, because you have decided to not be someone that money chases, guess what? You don't take the actions of a person that decides that money chases them. This is the way it is, right? I mean, like we could just, we can make it all pretty. I can make it all pretty for you. And I really have some notes to make it really, really pretty for y'all. Okay. But um, I always like to just go with the flow. And so the flow of it is that you have not decided to be someone, a successful business owner, a prosperous, you know, making money business owner. And though, so because you haven't made that decision, then the action that you're taking right? You're scrolling Facebook. You're not, you're a consumer of content, not a creator of content. And so you're not showing up, serving and selling your audience. So, so therefore they don't even know you have anything to sell. Half of the people don't even have a clue that you're even in business. Like you go to Thanksgiving and you, you know, someone's like, Hey, what have you been up to? Like, Hey, I'd launched this business. Really? You launched a business. What is it? Right. That should not happen. That shouldn't be the vibe. People should know because you should be passionate about what it is that you actually, you know, who you're being. You should be passionate to be a business owner. If you are someone who is, wants to hide that you're a business owner, you need to get out of that fast because that's the problem right there. You're not in the right business. And in the science of getting rich, Wallace D. Waddle says, listen, if you're in the wrong business, you can get in the right business. That is so cool. I think that is so amazing. If you're in the wrong business, which if you are um, hiding what you're doing and stuff, and so nobody knows you're a business owner, right? If you're hiding that, if you're scared to post on your Facebook wall because your people are going to see that you, what? Like you're not in the right business because when you are in the right business, you share it. You don't even care. You don't even care. You don't even care about people's opinions about it, right? Let me give you another example, just in case business may be an example that is hard for you to catch from me today, right? Let me just say you get into a relationship. You get into a new relationship. You get a new boo, okay? Come on, ladies, gentlemen, you get a new boo, all right? Listen, you're going to post the pictures on Facebook, right? Y'all going to be on Instagram, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're going to be posting it everywhere. You're going to be in the stories. You're going to be everywhere with your new boo, right? You know what I'm saying? Like you go out, you're going to be holding hands and everything. Why? Because you are not ashamed. You're not ashamed. You're in love. You're in love. And so therefore you want the world to know that you're in love. It is no different with a business. If you're in a business and you do not want nobody to know about it and you want to be the best kept secret, then listen, I trust me when I tell you, you ain't found the right thing, y'all. You ain't found the right thing, okay? You and not you have not found something that you're passionate about. So you need to go and dig a little bit more, okay? Go dig a little bit more. All right, so that's one of the things. You got to decide to be a person, be someone different. So therefore, when you decide to be someone different, you take the actions of that particular person. I decide I'm going to be a successful, prosperous, wealthy you know, business owner. And based upon that decision, I now ask myself, Keisha, what does that person do? Hey, Catrice. Right? What does that person do? What does that person, does that person show up on Facebook Live, right? You know, does that person send emails to the list? Does that person sell products? Does that person create products? Does that person run Facebook ads? What does that person do? What do you, what, how do you define that particular person, right? You take the actions, you do, right? Then be, do, now having is what comes in now. So now, because you have decided to be a successful business owner, you have decided to do, do sell products, right? Now you have what? Money, <laughs> okay? You have whatever it is that you really desired or whatever, that, that now there it is, right? Because of why? Because of who you're actually being. 
That's what the goal is. The goal is to be the person. And none of that, none of, nothing else really matters besides the being, all right? All right? So another thing about, uh, about money, why money isn't chasing you. One, number two, you don't desire it. You don't desire it. A lot of people, a lot of people, you'd be so surprised. You'd be so surprised about the number of people, you maybe even fall in this category as well, that do not even desire. You don't even desire money, right? Why? Because someone told you, first of all, it's evil, right? So now you're like, oh, I, I, I want it, but I don't want to say I want it because if I say I want it, then I'm kind of like an unspiritual person. Like I'm devilish or something because I said I wanted some money, right? Or if I say I desire money, like, oh, what are people going to think about me? And they're going to think like, oh, she's evil. She's unspiritual. She needs, you know, all this kind of stuff, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, so now, um, you know, you don't even desire it, you guys. So you want, you have to desire is, you know, just think about it. Who wants to be in someone's life and they don't desire them to be there? You know, like if you think, think about it like that, right? I mean, like, would you want to be, if there's some, you, you're like, let's go back to relationship. Do you, they're like, I don't want you. I don't want you. I don't, I don't want you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can't, well, I kind of want you. Uh, may, nah, I don't want you. Yeah, actually I do. I do kind of want you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to make it, you have to, money is to be desired. Write that in the comments, y'all. Money is to be desired. Money is to be desired. Anything in this world, nothing wants to be, you know, and when you understand about what money is, so if you think that money is the thing that's down at the bank, right? The paper at the bank, if you think that's what money is, then that's a problem. You have not learned what is money. I'm not here to teach you that. I don't got much time to do that today, but I'm gonna tell you right now, if you think it's paper, then that's the problem. You don't know what it is. And in school, they just don't teach us this stuff, right? Because they don't know what it is. And so it's hard for you to teach somebody something that you don't know. We're like, oh, the school should teach kids about credit and the school should teach kids about this and the school should teach kids, you know, the school don't know. <laughs> like I'm saying, the school don't know. So how are you gonna teach somebody something that you don't know? I don't want the school to teach my kid about money because they're going to teach them some jacked up, you know, oh, you got to go find a job and make $20 an hour or something like that. I don't want the school to teach my kid about money. I'm going to teach my child about money. Let me teach him myself. It's unlimited. It's everywhere. It's overflowing. You can have as much as you want. And that's just the way it is. It is responding right. to you. It's responding to who you're being. And that's just the way it is. And you don't have to go trade your time for it. It's not the way. That's not the way it works. It's not even the way it works. So I don't need the school house to teach my kid about money because that's just, that's just not the vibe. It's not the vibe, <laughs> right? It's not the vibe. I don't need them to do that, right? Because what they're teaching them now is jacked up. So anyways, whatever, right? I love the virtual school team too, guys. I'm like, listen, we ain't ever got to go back to like going up to the schoolhouse, all right? So that's a whole other whole word, okay? So it's to be desired. It's to be desired. Stop, 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 stop. Resolve it. You know what I'm saying? Like resolve it in your mind right now. Just say I desire money. That's okay. It is okay. You're not unspiritual, evil, or whatever in all that case can be. People say, oh, the love of money is the root of all evil. Listen, the lack of it ain't helped us either. Tr Listen, our crime rate would go down if we could figure out how to give people more money. <laughs> fight me. Like they say, fight me, right? If everybody had... $10,000 a month. Now, some people just going to commit crime because they just going to commit crime, right? This is the way it is, right? But listen here. If everybody had a way to do $10,000 a month and they didn't have to, you know, they didn't have to um, fight people for Jordans and stuff like that. You guys, listen, I, I'm, I'm, I don't want to, I'm, I'm over it. You know what I'm saying? So it's okay. It's okay for you to say, God, I desire money. I desire money. It's fine. Okay. And he's okay with it. You know what I'm saying? Like he's totally okay with it. Totally fine with it. All right. So you don't desire it. Okay. And now here's the next one. Here's my last one. I'm gonna let you guys go. <laughs> the lack of it, right? To try to pay your bills off a of shout. Come on, somebody. Um, and so listen, here's the last one I'm gonna give you guys, and I gotta go, right? Number three, you don't ask for it. <laughs> okay, you don't desire it, and so therefore you don't ask for it. You don't ask. Let me say it like that. You don't ask for it. All right. Listen, guys, I'm gonna give you guys a story. I'm as I as I leave here. Um, so I have a little one. You guys know Trey is um uh, is 11 years old, okay. And so, um, and so, uh, I was, 
asking Trey to do something. Um, I think it was like clean the kitchen or something like, you know, I asked him to do something and, and then, um, he wanted me to help him. That's what it was. So I asked him to do something. I asked him like clean the kitchen or do something. And so then he was like, well, will you help me? And I said, no. <laughs> and I said, no, I said, you know, and I told him, this is what I said. I said, you know, your brother. And so, you know, I can tell on myself, y'all listen, I said, well, your brother, he did it all by himself and you did not help y'all listen y'all listen to the story okay because this right here will help this will set your life on fire this will set you free okay listen listen uh, josh had did something i think it was like it was somebody something some kind of cleaning you guys i can't remember but listen just follow the story josh had did some cleaning he did it all by himself right and so i recognized that josh had done this cleaning all by himself i asked trey to do the same thing Trey asked me for help. So Trey said, mom, will you help me? I said, no. <laughs> okay. And the reason why, because I had compared what Josh had done all by himself. So I said, when Josh did it, Josh did it all by himself. Listen, what Trey told me on this day that literally he said, Josh didn't ask for help. I am. I said, oh my God. I learned a lesson on that day, y'all. Listen, many of you all are struggling in your life and in your business because you refuse to ask for help for whatever reason, for whatever reason, it doesn't even matter. For whatever reason, you refuse to ask for help. And guess what? Help is available for you, but many of us, we will not even ask. The money is available for us. The support is available, the coaching, the everything, the everything is available. Everything is available for you. Everything you need in order to be successful in this life is available for you right now. It's like standing at the cosmic counter, you know, and there is behind, there's a, there's God is at the counter behind. There is all the things that you need. I mean, when I say everything in abundance to the overflows is, is available for you. But many of us, we refuse to ask. We won't ask. And he taught me a very valuable lesson at that moment. And I'm so grateful for my kids. They're always teaching me because like he said, Josh didn't ask for help. I'm asking you to help me do it, all right? Yes, yes. So I wanna encourage you all today to ask for help. Desire more money in your life. If that is what you, if that's what you want, Listen, it's okay. You are not brought here and put into this experience and on this planet for you to struggle. And many people do this because they want to, they feel like, oh, the more I struggle, the more God sees. And, you know, now, you know, everything becomes a struggle story for us. We have to struggle in love. We have to struggle in money. We have to struggle in business. We have to struggle in everything. Buy a car has to be a struggle. Buy a house has to be a struggle. We sign up for struggle in every single area of our lives. And and then we make it like, oh, well, this is the Lord's plan for me, right? It's like, God is like, no, I did not bring you here to struggle all the days of your life. That is not my plan. That's not my plan. Now you can make it be his plan, but it's not his plan for you to sit up and struggle all the time. And he gets glory out of seeing you suffer all the time, <laughs> like all the time. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 and no. <laughs> okay. I'm not signing up for that. And I'm like, no, God, thank you for this, for the spirit, the angels and the spiritual team that goes out to help me. Many of you, your angels are on assignment. They're waiting for you to give them a command. It's like, it's, I find it really interesting, you guys. I find it crazy because I can think about the scriptures that talk about, you know, the angels are waiting and they're waiting for us to tell them and give them orders and tell them what to do. But then we'll, but then we won't tell them what to do. We won't ask for help. We won't ask them to help. We won't send out our spiritual team of angels to go and get the money, bring me back the clients and the resources, everything I need, go and do it. So most of us, our angels are just sitting and they're just like, oh, I wish she would tell me to do something today. I wish she would give me an assignment today. Oh, well, well I guess I'll just watch her just struggle on this day. I guess I'll just watch her struggle to figure this out. I could help, but you know, hey, she don't want my help. She wants to, she thinks God is going to like make her her favorite, make her his favorite because she's over here struggling really bad. But I really could help her. I really could help her. 
but you know, I can't do anything. I'm constricted by her words. Oh my God. I'm constricted. I, I'm restricted. That's why I wear I'm restricted because she won't give me a word. She won't ask for it. And so therefore I'm restricted. I do nothing. I sit here every day. Every day I sit here, I do nothing because I have nothing to do because the person that I'm assigned to likes to struggle. They like to struggle. And so therefore I just let them struggle. I mean, like, I don't want them to struggle, but I can't do nothing, right? I can't do anything because they have this thing called free will. And that free will that God gave her, it just requires me to just, I just wait. I have to wait on a command. I can't move. I, I can't do anything. She's crying. Oh my God. I wish she would just say something. I wish she just, you know, trust that God will like do something. Right. Trust that, you know, this working out, we can work this out. We can work this out. Right. You guys, that's what's happening. Okay. You don't have to do that. You don't have to struggle. So desire it, ask for it, you know, and know that it's available. So much is available for you, my friends. Okay.